think the issue we're discussing here when it comes to security is not necessarily the number of men you have or just having police with you. It's the actual ability to secure. Okay, so for example, you have policemen with you, right? But what if one of your workers get killed and then your laborers decide not to come to the farm anymore? What mm. then do you do even with your first security men? So those are the issues. It's a wider issue. It's not just about you, right? It's about the entire community. How do you secure how do you secure the entire community? The success of um, the agricultural sector depend largely on our ability to secure our farmlands or the rural area. If you look at the issues now, I mean, you're talking about trying to encourage the youth into agriculture, you're trying to talk about a uh, movement of investors into agriculture, but no one is really talking about the issues in the areas where the produce are being, uh, are being produced. For example, about 80 to 90% of the food we produce in Nigeria and consume in Nigeria are produced in the rural areas. And this is largely where most of this communal conflict, farmer header issue and insurgency is also taking place. So it's very easy to see how uh, this uh, threatens food security. Uh, as part of my own contribution, I created Resolute 4.0 along with my co-founder, Joseph. And, you know, it's devastating to see what the impact of this conflict is on agriculture. We have farmers that no longer go to the big farms anymore. They now farm on smaller plots next to their homes. You know, in the last seven days i've had nine farmers killed you know so it's it's that bad and i think it's high time that the federal government and security forces actually look at these issues for what they are you know putting a blanket label on it as calling it banditry or whatever doesn't necessarily solve the problem if it's a communal conflict within the community or sister communities deal with the issue for what it is if it's from my issue identify it and deal with it if it's insurgency identify it and deal with it but just labeling, giving that blanket label, is not necessarily going, going to work. And I think that's where the federal government needs to start from. What exactly is the issue community by community, not state by state now, community by community. This is the issue. You're asking me why I was wearing camouflage earlier. I can't go to the farm without security. So I had to partner with the Nigerian army through the Nigerian army farms and ranches. And we're producing rice together. That's the only way I can do what I love doing. Otherwise, I'm just going to sit at home because chances of me being kidnapped or killed is too high without security. And like uh, Mosul rightly said, you know, farmers going to the farm now, you sort of have to fight for the right to do your job. Farming is not just carrying a hoe anymore. It's the ability to secure yourself, then farm, which is then a problem. You know, to conclude, I think the federal government has a lot of work to do in identifying this issue and really tasking uh, the security agencies and addressing the problem.